Hello everyone, welcome back to software testing with Jamil. So today's topic is how to change the background color for a path J meter. As you know, a path J meter is used for performance testing and I've quite I've used it quite a lot for load testing, soak testing, uh, spike testing. Uh, so I mean I uh, while you, you performing uh, performance testing I've used different uh, background colors so look and feel so uh, and the one I'm using currently is the windows one I prefer this one because uh, one of the reason I'll show you now is the when I'm looking at the let's not save that when I'm looking at the uh, view result tree and I'm looking at all these um, response headers for example uh, I could clearly see that uh, and the response body is there as well so and then because of the color of the writing so pink uh, you know purple etc i'll show you why it looks it doesn't look that nice in the darker uh, colors which probably most people use it because it's probably good for i guess good for your eyes or looks uh, and then as you could see in the response headers request headers they're quite clear and nice nice and easy there's no uh, there's no confusion or you know, there's no way you can't see this stuff uh, so that's why I like the windows version but I mean a window a windows up background but uh, to change the background all you need to do is go options look and feel and you got the various different variations there so you got metal you got Dracula's, uh you got the high contrast dark high contrast light IntelliJ if you like using the IntelliJ um, one the one you maybe you're developing IntelliJ or you're doing the uh, automation etc then you got the one dark and you got the solarized dark and light dark and nimbus uh, so let's just try the solarized light uh, no yeah so that is still looks good so it's not much different to uh, the windows obviously there's a slight difference but not much uh, so you could choose that that looks nice as well uh, let's try now let's try one dark So this is one dark. I mean, it looks very pretty, as you can see. So when we're looking at the results here, or oh, request there, let's go to the request. It looks very pretty. Um, then in the um, result tree, as you could say, sample result, very pretty. Go to response data, uh, response body, very pretty again. It's so white writing, but when you go to the actual, for example, response headers, uh, I don't know about you guys, but for me, it doesn't look nice. The only way I could see is probably highlight the stuff and then I could see that properly and uh, then I guess the request one is exactly again the same thing it doesn't look nice I mean it does, it's not easy readable so um, I guess if you're not using much uh, response like headers uh, request headers etc and you're just using your more you just you just care about I guess the response body then yeah it's not a problem but if you are uh, so I mean that's not bad either I guess when you're doing the request um, request as well and you're looking at the HTTP so that looks okay so uh, if you're not concerned about the response headers etc then you're okay but if you are like me if you need to see stuff uh, then it's probably best not to go with the dark uh, version but yeah so you could change it yeah let's go one more try a metal no we don't want to exist so as you could see metal is what we see is a java swing so if you studied in a uni or stuff i remember when i studied and there was a we created the java swing application it just reminded me of that not a big fan of it at all just looks i don't know ugly horrible buttons so i prefer i mean i guess i prefer well i use the dark one but lately because of what i've been doing in performance testing i personally prefer the uh, windows one which is uh you know which is quite nice well it is nice it just blends into the windows and then you got the actual uh, writing which you could clearly see uh, response headers and again you got the well response bodies i guess same but main thing is the response header if you need to have a look so i hope you enjoyed this um uh, how uh, enjoy this video on how to change the uh, background color 
and but if you do have any questions just drop me a comment and if you uh, if you did like this video make sure you uh, like the uh, hit the like button thumbs up button and if you still haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel and i will keep on producing these great video for you guys thank you for joining me again bye